standing up for your kids, and that's what it's all about. So we announced just a few days ago that, and we had great support from the city council, and thank you for the partnership with Councilman Mark Strader. And I want to thank the borough president, who I know has been pushing this issue and is doing great things for this school. Thank you, Gail Brook. We announced that for every classroom in New York City that does not currently have air conditioning, we will install air conditioning, every single last one over the next few years. And that will begin this summer. So this school will be one of the places that this summer we're going to put the air conditioning in. So by the time the kids come back in the fall, they're going to have air conditioning in their classroom. Yes. 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 Beautiful units like this one. <laughs> In your own words. Man, they'll be comfortable. Um, it's very hard to concentrate and be effective when you're hot and you're sweaty and uncomfortable. So I think it will be amazing for them to be able to sit in a cool environment and get the job done. And, and have you heard complaints from your child about lack of air conditioning? Absolutely. Yes. 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 You had yes. a Yes. Yes. Indeed. Clearly, my first year, my daughter's a freshman, so I just starting right now. She's had not complaints so far, but she's excited that they're gonna start the air conditioning now. So my daughter's a senior. I've heard it. You've heard it for four years. My daughter's a junior, and is and like the comfort level that she's been experienced now, compared to what she had in the past, I'm happy with it. Yeah, very happy. Excellent. What did you I'm see? excited. Tell me why. For a lot of reasons. I'm, I'm on the PTA board, and when I come and you know, do volunteer stuff, I want to be sitting in a hot room. And it helps my daughter because she has asthma. It's good for her. Oh, very important. Yes. In terms of respiratory disease, air conditioning, is, as we unfortunately, in my family, we have asthma. Air conditioning is fantastic for helping to maintain people with respiratory issues. Excellent. That's a really important point. I hadn't thought of that. Has she felt like when there's dust around or anything? When she came here in the ninth grade, she was like, come on, it's hot. Yes. Yeah. So the AC really, really helped. So she had problems because yes. of that. I'm just going to help yes. her. Excellent. Excellent. Exactly. And I want to give credit to Gail. And we're doing the classrooms, but you also have an important answer. Yeah. Here at this school, we're going to put in $620,000 to put the air conditioning in the auditorium. Yeah. I kind of like your principal. I love him. I love him. I love him. He's great. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what does it mean to you? But it's also the largest auditorium in Manhattan. Wow. Okay. What does it mean to you to have air conditioning to the principal? Well, I mean, my job is to worry about, you know, my kids and their kids, and so I just want them to be comfortable. I want them to be in the best learning environment. I want them to be able to concentrate on what they need to be doing in the classroom so they can move ahead after high school fashion industries. So air conditioning in the classrooms, air conditioning in the auditorium for all the performing arts, yeah. is, it's a game changer. It's really a game changer for our school, and I'm so happy that all the schools will have that. Uh, and that they can, you know, work and live in comfort here. Because they spend, on, you know, a lot of time here. <laughs> yes. A lot of time. And there's no reason that, you know, one school has it, and one school is centrally aired, and all the other, you know, another school doesn't. It's not how the other half lives. And every single school should, you know, should be in comfort. Well, I've got to tell you, there's an important point, because the new schools that we create come with central air. Yeah. Right. And a lot of parents, I heard this at town hall meetings all over the city, a lot of parents said, how can it be that some schools have it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one thing that's important to recognize is, and I want to thank Lorraine Grillo, who is the president of the School Construction Authority, because they have gotten really good at uh, rehabbing schools, building schools, but also, you know, because they're getting so much done, we know this money will be spent, and it will be spent well, it will be spent quickly. So, Lorraine, everyone at School Construction Authority, thank you, because they're going to make it Talk to some of the kids in the, the other room. And by the way, that's an amazing room. 
where all the dresses are being created and the old school uh, sewing machines and all. It's really, really, you know, it feels like a real New York scene in there. Yes. And also the, the kids with their creativity, their ambition. I talked to a bunch of the kids and they all had a really clear picture of what they wanted to do next and they were very motivated. But I said to them, what was it like to not have air conditioning? And they all said immediately, you know, and not only was it hot and uncomfortable and sweaty, but they said, you know, machines make it hotter. A lot of people in the room made it hotter, so they said it was really difficult. And I said, what was, you know, the result of that? And they said it was hard to focus. You know, I asked a bunch of different kids. They all said it was hard to focus. It was hard to concentrate. Uh, when, you know, you want to make sure they do the best they can do. Uh, but if they can't get all of their focus together and they're trying to learn, you know, unfortunately, we're making it harder. I know the Chancellor, uh, who's been at education for a little bit, a little bit of time. Uh, you know, yeah, the Chancellor is always uh, reminding us of all of the factors that going in to go into a child having the right learning environment. And some of it is a great teacher, and some of it is great uh, technology, but some of it is something as basic as being able to be comfortable in the classroom. So it also means that the parents in this particular school, great parents and very involved, can use their money and energy for other things. This is a school that has a lot of internships. One of the stories that I love that I just heard from the kids, there aren't enough boys in the sewing classes. <laughs> so they've actually imported boys from Truman High School in the Bronx to come and be their models because they have to pass some sewing credentials with menswear. So they had to go look for a place where they could drag in men. So I said, well, is this a big problem? She said, no, because now we have more opportunities when we have prom dates and whatever else. So this is, but this school, I want to say very clearly, is really um, a lot of due to what the principal here has managed. I've been here a few times. I think I'm coming back in two weeks. And the external partnerships that they created here, like with clientels, I personally am somewhat addicted to say yes to the dress. Yeah. So I, I ask the students, this is not just about sewing. I want to be very honest. This is about thinking what your future client is going to be. One of the students said to me, you know what, as I watch the show, because there's some merit in it, I, I don't want to say it's totally frivolous. If you're seeing the trends for three years down the line where there might be more single sex couples, but one of them always wants to wear pants. So she's making a dress there that could be multi-purpose. You can wear just a dress with the pants. I had a, another one who said to me, we realized that many people don't have enough money to buy two dresses, one for the ceremony, so I'm making a convertible dress, one that I can wear this. So to me, this is about sewing. By the way, I took sewing classes when I was in high school, way back then, and I can still do my own hemming to some degree. It'll save a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But I think the internships that this school has done with external partners is fabulous, and they have brought in a lot of money from that way too. But um, I think part of the credit, a lot of the credit needs to go to principal and state. Well, so listen, I uh, just want all the parents, I want you to know how much we appreciate. I know you guys are working hard to get air conditioning in your school, and you were, in the best sense, you were taking matters into your own hands and trying to find the resources. And that's what I love about committed parents to do anything for your kids. Well, you know, from this point on, you don't have to worry any longer because air conditioning is now going to be guaranteed in all of our classrooms. So, thank you and congratulations to you. Yeah, let's do a photo together. Uh, Mr. Mayor, please get some help. Yep, I'm yep. over here. And then everyone, if you just gather in tightly behind. All right, good. That's awesome.